Welcome. This video will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your OP4. Please keep in mind that parts and features will look and function differently depending on the date your OP4 was manufactured. Refer to the online user manual for a detailed guide to your specific trailer build. Once you've safely parked your OP4, engage the handbrake. You can then lower the tongue jack by pulling the blue handle and swinging the wheel into place. Using the magnetic handle, crank the tongue jack until your opus is level. Begin by opening your cargo rack. First, remove the two securing pins from the hinge. Then move to the other side of the camper and release both of the latches. As you push the rack up, the gas struts will assist with holding most of the weight. Secure the cargo rack in place with the locking pins you removed earlier. The cargo rack holds up to 500 pounds and has options for bike racks, gear bags, and rack-mounted showers. Ensure these items are removed or secure before opening it. Before opening the bed lids, lower the spare tire on the rear of your Opus. Simply release both latches and swing the tire down 90 degrees. Fold both support legs out to prepare to open the bed lids. To open the bed lids, begin by walking around your trailer and unlocking all seven of the lid latches. Now you can open the front bed lid and secure it to the front stone guard. Next, open the rear lid. Using the D-rings, lock the support legs in place. Before inflating your tent, walk around your tent pulling the canvas tightly over each corner. You then need to ensure all five quick release valves are closed. Check inside the tent to ensure the transfer hose is tightly secured. This hose connects the onboard compressor to the main air beam. Power on your Opus with a red key and press the air compressor button to begin inflating your tent. Should you need to switch off the compressor for any reason while the tent is inflating, this should be done using the main power switch. Once your air tent is fully inflated and the compressor shuts off, please remove the hose from the valve and cap the valve. This will stop any air leaking out around the compressor hose. Failure to remove the hose and cap the valve may result in tent deflation. Once the tent is inflated, fold down all four stabilizer legs using both hands for support as they're released. Using the hex socket provided, lower all four legs until they're snug on the ground. Now 
Next, open the front door using the key. Using the adjustable pin, secure the steps to the desired height. The stabilizer legs are not designed to hold the weight of the trailer and should not be used to level your Opus. Once your trailer is properly level, you can then lower the legs to provide stabilization on all four sides of the camper. To open up the kitchen, pull and turn the spring bolts and slide out the kitchen to its full extension. You will feel the kitchen settle into place when it is fully extended and locked in position. Next, unlock the kitchen support leg, lower it, and tightly secure the bolts into place. Pull out your prep deck and secure the adjustable support leg. Next, open your stove and secure the wind guards. Then adjust the LED flex light and set up your dish rack. There are two ports located on the side of the trailer where you connect the LED flex light and the lights running along the top of your stove and dish rack. Once connected, turn the light switch on to activate your lights. Your Opus comes fitted with a 12-volt slide-out fridge. Simply squeeze both latches to slide the fridge out. The fridge switch must be on at the control panel for your fridge to receive power. We recommend turning your fridge on and allowing it to come down to temperature 24 hours before your trip and whilst connected to shore power, as this is the time when your fridge will need to use the most energy. To run propane to your stove, attach the gas hose located under the sink to the propane quick connect. Open the gas line by turning the valve on the quick connect 90 degrees. The OP4 is fitted with 40 gallons of fresh water and two potable water tanks. To pump water to your kitchen, connect the blue and red water lines from the kitchen to the trailer. The tanks are gravity filled and connect to a 12 volt Seago water pump which can be switched on via the main control panel. Before using your sink, ensure you've pulled the water drain hose into a wastewater container or bucket. To run hot water to your kitchen sink, you must connect the hot water heater mounted on the cargo rack. Begin by opening the black box and connecting the propane hose from the water heater to the trailer and turning the valve 90 degrees to open the gas line. Next, attach the long red hose to the red quick connect and the long clear hose to the blue quick connect. Turn the power switch on located at the bottom of the water heater. You can now run hot water directly to your kitchen and rack mounted shower. The OP4 comes with the option for a hot water shower mounted on the rack. This will run off the same water heater you connected for your kitchen. To set up your shower, turn the tent 90 degrees and unzip it. Unfold the arms and stake down the corners. Secure the shower head to the inside of the shower tent. 
Select your desired temperature, ensuring the pressure and temperature settings do not exceed the medium range when you're starting the water heater. Finally, slide the switch located on the shower head to activate the water flow. The hot water shower is capable of producing scalding water temperatures. Please take care to ensure your safety and those around you when in use. The Opus has interior lights in the footwell and lining of the ceiling. For your lights to work, you must flip the light switch on at your control panel. The ceiling lights connect to a 12-volt mini outlet and are controlled by a switch. The footwell lights are controlled by the switch mounted inside the door. To set up the king bed extension, begin by placing the two narrow cushions next to the bed. Then arrange the cushions as shown. When setting up your lounge, we recommend starting with the center back cushion, followed by the corner back cushions, then the side back cushions. To set up your interior table, begin by sliding the table leg into the wall mount and tightening it to the desired height. Secure the shorter leg to the table before securing it to the knob on the leg. To use your propane heater, turn on the heater switch at the control panel. Again, ensure the propane tank is open and the regulator is functioning properly. The thermostat is controlled inside your trailer. Simply use the center knob to select the blinking caravan icon and then adjust the thermostat to your desired temperature.